There is nothing wrong with your television set. Michael Mania is in control of the picture and sound. We have used the utmost care to present the following uncensored footage. However, you will experience technical problems at some points. So for the next 30 minutes, sit back and enjoy extremely rare home video of never before seen glimpses of Michael Jackson. This is my llama Louie. He's a really charming, sweet animal. He eats alfalfa. They're originally from South America. And uh, they originally come from the mountains in Peru, the Indians. And they're from the breed of the alpaca, as well as the camel. And Louie, uh, he was in the circus. I bought him from a lady who was a circus performer. And uh, what he would do, he would give kids rides, 60 pounds or under. And that's what he would do all day, and do tricks. And he's a charming, sweet animal. Say hi, Louie. Let him see your beautiful ears. Come on, Louie. Are there any questions? Yeah, I mean, you know, about this? To use that stick and he did a trick for it. Well, I haven't done it in a long time, and uh, I don't know if it'll work. <laughs> but, um, very affectionate animal. Very affectionate Very, very. I used to have another one. He was a baby, kind of boy, and uh, um, he was snow white. And uh, unfortunately, my dogs attacked him and he died. His name was Lola. I'm not sure if it was a girl or a boy. They were beautiful. Really beautiful. I really like them. I like their eyes. Right? Most, most people remember these from um, Dr. Doolittle. Remember? The, but the one Dr. Doolittle had two heads. One in the back and one in the front. People go, oh, that's a thing in the Dr. Doolittle. Yeah. Hi, Louie. And he loves to take pictures. And he says he wants to be a movie star. Oh, really? That's why he's profiling right now. Mm. Right, Louie? Okay, I'm going to walk around. Come on. I see him. Just relaxing. Pardon? Um, I guess I deal with my schedule. You just gradually, you get used to it. And you go day to day with the, re the routine. Um, I get presented a schedule every morning and I fulfill it. I found out this morning that I was going to be doing this. And, uh, Bill, get out of her ear. And, um, I guess it's something you just get used to doing. It's part of your work. You're fulfilling uh, your job as an entertainer or whatever. It's fun to be at home sometimes and just relax like this. I think it's very important because, as a performer, <laughs> you can perform, but if you don't have anything to, to play back off of, to bounce off of, um, your performance isn't as uh, dynamic. I, I think the fans give you the energy. Uh, you play off of them, really. Can you hear me? Gosh, it's, that's hard to explain. It's, um, it's something that I guess you're just born with. <laughs> you feel the music, it's like a painter, I guess. You, just, you approach the canvas with the paint and the brush and you're inspired by things around you, I guess, and what's inside of you. And you do it. 
and uh, and I like creating magic. Facing <clears throat> in a cloud, soaring up so high. Watch me now. Watch me now. I'm creative. When I explain magic, I mean wonderment, um, excitement, um, the unexpected, escapism, creating something that's so incredible, an illusion. Uh, to put people in a situation, no matter what it may be, and give them totally the opposite of the unexpected, so much more than what they thought would happen. I mean, just blow their mind. That's, I like creating magic, excellence. I, I love doing that. Ah, it's nothing like it. <laughs> I try to do it in everything I do, really. What do you think your idea is so songs? The ideas from the songs I get, I've always said that I don't write my own songs because I feel I'm just a source, I'm just a tunnel, a tube through which they come. I feel somewhere in space they've all been written before. I mean, Billie Jean and Beat It and all those songs have been up there somewhere. It just came through to me. That's how I really feel. So I, I, even though I did it, I just can't always take credit. It's like any great artist, I guess. Leonardo da Vinci, I mean, keep doing it, but it's some other higher force that's making it happen. Very true. I um, I think kids are very special. They're, I think they're the greatest inspiration for me. Kids and animals and God, stuff like that. Um, I can't even explain them. They're so magic. When I'm around them, I feel more alive. I think than anything. Um, I feel like I can do anything. They're um, God. They charge me. They give me energy. They really do. I think the majority of my success is. Um, from uh, has been the inspiration of kids. I really do. I never. I don't think I ever done an interview outside with the trees and bushes watching me. Couldn't. <laughs> Well, uh, the reason why I like the house I live in, I, the whole theme of it, I want it to be mainly for kids. Because um, when they come here, I like to be inspired by their reaction, <clears throat> by seeing them have fun, by their joy. That's why I like to go to Disneyland a lot. I like seeing and then have fun. I go there to get my daily dose of inspiration, really, if I can. And uh, when I come back, I'm ready. I'm ready to take on everything. It's really great. It's, uh, it's magic. Their eyes, their face, their expression, their characters. Magic. We're doing a new album right now. It's the Jackson's album. And I'm writing several songs on it. The latest one I'm writing is called Buffalo Bill. It's about Will Cody, the cowboy, and how he died. And um, I'm, I'm really excited about it, because I really, I, I, I hate to say I know it's going to be a hit, but <laughs> I really strong, I feel strong about it. Then I'm writing a song um, about uh, Liberian Girl about a Liberian girl. 
I'm excited about that. I'm excited about all my projects. <laughs> and I'm just living day to day, dreaming and wishing upon stars and all that magic stuff. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. A lot of things going on at the same time. Are we making magic here? <laughs> Let's go in the back. Let's go in the back where the Tivoli lights are. Is enough light to do a setup there? Why don't you guys tell me you were shooting? I'll be right down. One sec, okay? Hold on! Can you get any closer? My God. It's dusk. The moon is out. Most beautiful part of the day. I can see some of the stars coming out. Very beautiful. Everything comes to life. The fireflies are in the trees, and everything's becoming magic. It's, it is, I, I would say it is my favorite part of the day, dawn and dusk. There's a certain magic about it. Um, it does seem like everything uh, that prey up on the night starts to, you know, come out, be it the creatures, be it the, the birds that return to their nests. I like dawn also. Some psychologists say that that dusk, for, for a lot of creative people, you, you reach your alpha state subconsciously and you become more creative in certain parts of the day. But for me, it can be any time, you know. I, um, I just like creating. It's no special time. But this is really magic to me because it's, like, um, it's like a painting. It's very artistic. It's magic. It's so wonderful. Just the sound of water is magic. It's really beautiful. So here the nuts. With any type of creation, you create what's inside of you. Uh, subconsciously, what influences you? I'm a fantasy fanatic. And uh, anything that took you off into another world, escapism, um, that's what I like. Um, I'm not so crazy about the reality of everything. I like a lot of fantasy. And that's what I try to create, to get away. To become moved. To become moved. Can you can you see me? Dancing on a cloud, soaring up so high. Watch me now. Watch me fly. Just I can do anything. I saw so high. I am forever. It's um it's a magic. It's hard to explain it. <laughs> I feel like I can just jump up, I swear, and take off, but nothing too hard about it. I might like do it. You can feel, you can feel um, the energy, everything around you. You just feel it. Energy from the moon, or the plants, everything around you. It's wonderful. I um, I think nature and animals and all those things are very inspirational to my work. 
I play off of those things with children. And um, it stimulate ideas, uh, creates all kind of things. I just can't tell you. I think the majority of my success is from these sources. And some people say, well, go into detail, but it's hard. You really can't. It's just the whole world of it. You just play off of life. I think it's the same thing what inspires painters and sculptors and people of the arts. It's the whole world of it. It's just strange. What I like to do is, um, I'll probably get my sister down here and just, we'll just fool around and talk. She'll tell you some of her magic experiences and stories. Because it's, to be able to play, to capture a moment and to preserve it thanks to modern technology that we can do this and to look at it and, 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 and let it stimulate because this is magic to me that magic put on up again what are you talking about so my lap? water what? what's on my right here what? I don't know what it is <laughs> And it's off now. It's off. You it's see important. it? I don't care. Anyway, I was just talking oh, about. Wait. No. <laughs> I was just talking about the dusk and the magic of dawn. Will you be quiet, you fat head rascal? <laughs> and I, what I wanted to ask you was, what inspires you? Musically or what? Anything. I mean, what inspires you uh, to create things, or musically, or makes you feel good? What? I would, I would say the sound of the ocean. I like the beach. Right. Musically, that inspires me because I see the creation of God when I he listen to all the different sounds, the ocean and that roar. That That's what I spoke about earlier. Oh, really? I said the same thing. Yeah. You're kidding. See, we didn't go look. What do you think is the main thing you want to do in the future? What's your ultimate goal? My ultimate goal is to be a multifaceted performer, uh, such as Barbara Streisand and Diana Ross. I think, actually, they're the only two that have really combined music as well as acting together, the two. That's true. And that's what I'd like to do. Of course, right. everybody wants to be where you are right now, but that's what I'd like to do. I haven't done anything. I feel like oh, I just yeah. started. Just beginning. So I like to be in your city. So I'm so happy. It's cold, Michael. No, it isn't. It's magic. How can you say it's cold? It's a wonderful night. It's magic out here. Are you cold, really? I'm not. A little bit. Well, because of the water that, you know, it's falling over. It's, it's clear. It's beautiful. It's, it's wonderful out here. So, um... The falls are pretty. Yeah, very pretty. It's, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. It's, it's a perfect thing to be doing this tonight. Really. I remember this for a long time. Anyway, um, what else would you like to, to say? Some of your dreams? No. Not, oh, dreams in life? Yes. <laughs> I thought you were those terrible dreams I had. No. <laughs> I got an idiot for our sister, folks. <laughs> got my training from you. <laughs> Give me a, what else? What are some of your other dreams? I do so many. I'd like to be right now where you are. That's my biggest dream. She keeps saying that. Because you've done it all, practically. I haven't done it all. Yes, you have. And so every every artist would like to be in your shoes, and that's where I'm. Since I'm an artist, just starting, just beginning, that's where I'd like to be. That's very flattering. Thank you. You're welcome. But there's so much more. It really is. Well, of course, movies. I don't like when people limit themselves. I don't. No, of course. We have I'd a lot like in common. Of course, movies. Mr. Lynn. And... I'd love to do movies. Yeah. Yeah. But um. I guess that would be it in the entertainment field. Yeah. Has Bill been here the entire time? You think he's directing this piece? Has he been in here? Hey, you're not directing I know he keeps telling this. me to look in the camera. <laughs> Come in. It's an, the night does. Yeah, it does, because listening to the waterfalls and the lights. I like Paris. It's my favorite place. You ever I been to Europe, you guys? Isn't it nice? I love it. Where have you been? Where were you Cuba? born? 
Oh, oh. wish I could say that. <laughs> I love Germany. I'm oh, from Indiana. My favorite is Paris. Oh, really? She's what? Half Indian. East American. Indian or American Indian? East Indian. Okay, that's more like it. I'm, I, she knows I'm a big fan of East Indian. Oh, is that Bill, why you said that? Who are my people? What, what, like, His what ancestors. race I, no, what race I really like? <laughs> I, I think, no, East Indian. I think they're really beautiful, and the darker they are, the more beautiful. Bill! Excuse me. Can you close that door? Your voice is very irritating. I know, I hate to scream. Not like Carol Burnett. Can you close that door, Bill, please? Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, I think uh, we've captured some good magic here, and um, I think it's a good time to close this. Uh, maybe we can sing a quick song? All right, which one sing? Jingle bells, no. <laughs> What, what should we sing? We don't have that um, much time. Let's make it quick. Uh, never can say goodbye. Okay. Never, never can, can say goodbye. No, 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 no. I never can say goodbye. You take it. television i still have to be filmed not because i'm vain I am so not because i'm vain i like making wet? magic of course honey <clears throat> hi for those of you who don't know i'm latoya and i come from a rather large family a family of two girls and six brothers when i was a little girl i used to watch all of my brothers rehearse every single day not knowing that one day they would be the famous Jackson 5. And I never had a dream that I would be a part of this as well because I never wanted a part of music in my life. I wanted nothing to do with it just by watching them rehearse every day and struggling. And my father making them do it over and over. It became so repetitious. I said, no, I don't want a life like that. And I don't want to be a part of that. And then it just all clicked when I became I guess 16, 17 years old, there I was on stage loving every single minute of it. And I love it today. I'm trying very hard to succeed. One of my biggest dreams was always to really meet the Beatles because they were so big. And Michael decided to do a film with Paul McCartney because they had been writing together. And before you knew it, there I was in the video, Say, 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 with him as a part of the video. And we all worked together. They're such wonderful people, Paul and Linda McCartney, and, and of course, the others in the family. And we just had a ball. We were out at Los Alamos. That's where we filmed it. We were there for about a week, and it took four shooting days. And it was just great. Very easy to work with, and it was very simple. And it was wonderful. And I enjoyed every single minute of it. And it was one of my dreams just to really just meet him, not knowing that a couple of years later I would be working with him as well. And I hope in the future I'll be able to do more work with him and other people as well. How about living here? Right? No, it's nothing special. <laughs> <laughs> the music I'm doing? Well, um... I've completed my album, and I'm hoping it does well as Michael. I mean, every artist is hoping for that. But I don't know what to say when you're on the spot like this. You don't know what to say. Isn't this awful? Oh, man. Why do you guys tell me you were shooting? I'll be right down. One sec, okay? Hold on! Can you get any closer? Don't you want to come? So you 
up so high. Watch me now. Watch me fly. I will be just. I can do anything. I soar so high. I am forever. Has Bill been here the entire time? You think he's directing this piece? Has he been in here? Hey, you're not I know directing I he keeps telling this. me to look in the camera. <laughs> Come in. I'm a fantasy fanatic. And uh, anything that took you off into another world, escapism, um, that's what I like. Um, I'm not so crazy about the reality of everything. I like a lot of fantasy. And that's what I try to create. To get away, to become moved, to become moved. Bill! Excuse me. Can you close that door? Your voice is very irritating. I know, I hate this girl. It's not like Carol Burnett. Can you close I feel like I could just jump up, I swear, and take off. But nothing too hard about it. I might like do it. You can feel, you can feel um, the energy, everything around you. You just feel it. Energy from the moon, or the plants, everything around you. I remember, I don't think I've ever done an interview outside with the trees and bushes watching me. Couldn't. Talk to camera? <laughs> I know it. What have I been on television? I still love to be filmed. Not because I'm vain. I am so glad to kill you. Not because I'm vain. I like making wet? magic. Of course, honey. I was just talking about... Oh, wait. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was just talking about the dusk and the magic of dawn. Will you be quiet, you fat head rascal? <clears throat> and I, what I wanted to ask you was, what inspires you? I've always said that I don't write my own songs because I feel I'm just a source, I'm just a tunnel, a tube through which they come. I feel somewhere in space they've all been written before. I mean, Billie Jean and Beat It and... All those songs have been up there somewhere. It just came through to me. That's how I really feel. So I, I, even though I did it, I just can't always take credit. It's like any great artist, I guess. Leonardo da Vinci, I mean, keep doing it, but it's some other higher force that's making it happen. <laughs> it's a wonderful day. He loves to take pictures. And he says he wants to be a movie star. Oh, really? That's why he's profiling right now. Mm. Right, Louis? Gosh, it's, that's hard to explain. It's, um... It's something that I guess you're just born with. <laughs> you feel the music. It's like a painter, I guess. You, just, you approach the canvas with the paint and the brush, and you're inspired by things around you, I guess, and what's inside of you. And you do it. And, uh... And I like creating magic. <clears throat> Where were you born? Cuba? Oh, oh, wish I could say that. <laughs> I love Germany. I'm oh, from Indiana. My sister, I when I explain magic, I mean wonderment, um, excitement, um, the unexpected, escapism. Creating something that's so incredible, an illusion. Uh, to put people in a situation, no matter what it may be, and give them totally the opposite or the unexpected, so much more than what they thought would happen. I mean, just blow their mind. That's, I like creating magic, excellence. I, I love doing that. Ah, it's nothing like it. <laughs> I try to do it in everything I do, really. Okay, some of your dreams. No, not, oh, dreams in life? Yes. <laughs> I thought you were those terrible dreams I had. No. <laughs> I got an idiot for our sister, folks. <laughs> got my training from him. I deal with my schedule. You just gradually, you get used to it. And you go day to day with the, re the routine. Um, I get presented a schedule every morning, and I fulfill it. I found out this morning that I was going to be doing this. And, uh, Bill, get out of her ear. And um, 
I guess it's something you just get used to doing. It's part of your work. Just fulfilling uh, your job as an entertainer or whatever. It's fun to be at home sometimes, just relax like this. Are we making magic here? Chasing a cloud, soaring up so high. Watch me now, watch me now. Thank you.